Hey guys, in this video we want to take a look at how to use the video slides that are available inside of Video Maker FX that are available here, the video clip supported slide, supporting slides. And um, basically what I've done here is I've used this uh, four second clip. It's actually 4.1 seconds, as we'll see, but, and I've added that and then I put in, you see right there it says 4.1 seconds. Um, and I've put in a video that I custom made uh, real quick and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to just go ahead and pretty much start from scratch and walk through how to do your own custom slide. This is obviously something I just cobbled together real quick. Uh, so, but it, basically I took one of the MOV files from the pro level for the Stickman animations and then I also added three icons. These are from the monthly level. These are uh, from the first update. They're the e-commerce icons that we added in the uh, monthly membership level. And so what I've done here is uh, I've actually laid this out inside of a ScreenFlow. I'm using ScreenFlow for this example. You can certainly use um, a similar any kind of video program that you could want to use at Camtasia, um, you, you know, Premiere, After Effects, uh, Video, Vegas, um, really just any video program. And so, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use ScreenFlow. It's one of my favorite. I like how simple it is and how straightforward I can do it. So I'm just going to do, oops, there's a recording. I don't want a recording. I want a new document. So I'm just going to do knock, new document here. Now here's one of the important parts right away. We need to go ahead and have that at that 1280 by 720 size because that's what ScreenFlow was asking for. So let's look here and it says, you know, be exactly 1280 by 720 and the you want the resolution at 720pi, which actually, I've actually, in this particular one, I think I just did it at 700. I, I accidentally did it at 700. And so let's just go over here uh, to, uh, or screen flow, or I lost my place. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and create a document at that size. And now um, what I'm going to do is get rid of this old one and also script video maker effects. What I've done is I just went into the folders and I just dragged and dropped these uh, art elements that I wanted uh, just straight as they were. This is, you, you might recognize, recognize this from a previous video. You go ahead and zap that. And I, I also went into Photoshop and I just made a 1280 by 700 or 720 or whatever it was background, white background. I just, it's, it's easier. I could have used a, just one of these uh, annotation shapes if I wanted to. I just, it just was easier for me to do it. You can do it however you want. But then I just, I simply just pop those guys in here. I just want to get them all in here first. And I think I can probably select them and get them all in at once. I can. And so, uh, and then what I need to do is I need to get this down at the bottom. And I know that I want this to be four seconds long. So I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom in enough to see four seconds. Actually, I need to zoom out enough to get this. I want to expand this white background out a little here. Just click and drag on the edge to get it out to about four seconds there. And then I can zoom in on it and um, basically come over here and get to that four second spot. And I want it to be 4.1 seconds because as, as, I, as I showed you there, it's actually a little bit longer. So let's get it to that 4.1 seconds. You know, you can play with this. Uh, maybe you find that it's not that the time frame that you want and or you want to use a, a longer length video uh, and so forth and so the ne next thing I just did is very simply I just took some of these guys and I'll make it a little bigger so it's, uh, let's expand this out zoom in so that I can see them better and I want to get that uh, stick man over here uh, you can obviously layer things however you want but um, I was just doing it this way myself and uh, did, I, did I actually make this minutes? I sure did. I made this minutes, not seconds. Um, so let me just fix that real quick. And zoom in again here. I want seconds, not minutes. And you know what? I'm not going to knock myself out to get that. Um, you, you, you get the idea. If you use ScreenFlow, you might use Camtasia or something else, and you might have to do it a slightly different way, but you get the idea there. And so I need to, I'm going to zoom out again so I can get at, at everything. Uh, actually, I probably need to zoom this way so I can get at the, I need to find those um, other things that I imported. Um, there we go. And get those over here. And in this, in this time, I'm not, I'm not going to, I staggered them as I let them in. And obviously you can do that uh, very simply by 
you know, taking here, I'll, I mean, I'll, well, just to make it simple. I mean, I'm going to expand all three of them out, and then I can just stagger them when, when they appear. And uh, they're all actually already longer than what I need them to be, so let's just, now that I've got them all selected, I'm going to move them over together and just kind of do that kind of number. Now they're all really big, and so I, I need to size them down. And so uh, I can just click, oops, I've got the background, I don't want that. So let's click on, I got one of these guys, I'm just going to hold down the shift key and, and size them down. Now, you probably would want to do this in Photoshop. You'd probably want to size this down in a program that's better for that. Now you, I'm getting a little chunkiness here. I just really wanted to do a quick demonstration of how easy it can be. Now you want to do maybe some file prep in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you use, Inkscape. Uh, if you're finding that you know you're you're working with the PNG files and they're you know they're getting too chunky, you can uh, go into Inkscape and use SVG files. You can import the SVG files into Inkscape and get them to look however you want. And you know there's a couple of different ways. I can I, I, obviously I can just expand these over to the four se uh, second spot here. And uh, last thing, I'm just going to copy this guy and I'm going to paste him over here. And one little tip here, just a little a fun thing, and you can do this inside of a lot of programs. You don't have to live, with, of course, with the size um, the, with, that we have we, you can, or the, the, the length. You can uh, uh, screen flow in a lot of programs just allow you to adjust that. And so the second one, I'm going to make him go a little faster. And... Uh, just you know, so he does his animation faster. He'll do a little loop there, and I can you know I can just I can primp this until I'm happy with whatever where everything is and looks. This is similar to what I did in that and in, uh, initially, and so once you're happy with whatever you've done there, and you 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 can go ahead and export that baby out. So I'm going to do export now. When I want when I do this, I need to make sure that the scale is set to 100%. So I'm going to do that there. And in the customized area, this is where you can change that data rate. You can change it to 720 or whatever. You can experiment with it. You know, maybe it's maybe it's going to be fine with that. I mean, I don't I don't have to follow. You don't have to color in the lines. You know, but anyways, um, of course you could have. I'm going to do. Let's give this. Well, that's, uh, the sample name is fine. I'm going to go ahead. And, but we could have. You know colored these in Inkscape or in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever we could have you know added some other art maybe a caption some text whatever you want but you know this is just a simple video and just to show you how uh, easy it is so in very short time I made my little video there and now I, I'm going to go ahead and just pop this into uh, sorry my uh, assistant keeps asking for help here let me just finish this so I can get back to her so uh, basically, all you do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start from scratch here and go in here. And we go down to the video slides down here at the bottom video. And I'm going to grab that four second one and I'm going to add slide. And then the trick is to just go come over here to this uh, little icon right there and see the video area. I've already got one in there, but I'm going to go ahead and browse and get the new one here. Screen flow and I'm going to open that. And there's my animation. Got a little backwards, don't I? But that's okay. But you see, I can bring that in, and we're good to go. So I have a custom slide that I made in very short time, uh, and you can do this too. You can use all kinds of different programs. I happen to use ScreenFlow, but you can use Camtasia. Uh, you can prep your art beforehand, uh, different colors and so forth, like I said, with Inkscape, Inkscape or GIMP. There's probably a bunch of other free programs out there. Uh, you can also, you know, save these things out from Photoshop or Illustrator or uh, Flash, even all kinds of different programs. So you don't, you're, you're not limited to just this. So if you have done a screen video, you can of course pop that in. I've uh, I've a couple of times used this art where I'm inside of uh, uh, like a. Um, if you're using, uh, trying to think of the program Keynote. If you're using Keynote and you are uh, you've made a little presentation in Keynote using this art and you're talking over it while you're doing a screen video you can record that and then pop that in here as well. And so there's a lot that you can do. Um, this, so have fun with this. This is a really cool thing, very easy to do. And this is how you can get some custom animations inside of here. 